Welcome back. While there are many positives to living here in Central Texas, cedar fever is not one of them. Every year about this time, the allergy rears its ugly head. So what exactly is it? And if you have it, what can you do to get rid of it? This morning, Dr. John Viasis with the Austin Diagnostic Clinic is here to help. Good morning you. to you. What is it about this time of year? Why now? Yeah, so Central Te there's something about Central Texas that is very unique from allergies in general. But here in Central Texas, we have some of the highest concentration of mountain cedar trees probably in the country. And mountain cedar is one of the most allergenic species of trees that we know of. Mm -hmm. And right now, these cones are forming That's right. on the trees. So around the fall season, especially, well, this year we had a lot of rain. And so the, those, those buds and the, that pollen is, is really forming right now and it really depends on the weather so in the next two to three weeks you can start seeing spikes in the cedar count mm -hmm. and that pollen gets, gets in the air yeah when the wind picks it up and moves it and that's what gets in in your nose that's right so so that 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 fine dust gets in your nose in your eyes in your lungs and then your immune system identifies it goes after it and that really is the definition of allergy mm -hmm. is when your immune system goes after these things and then you start experiencing some of these symptoms so the, the classic symptoms are itchy eyes itchy nose, sneezing, and then for those that suffer from asthma, asthma type symptoms as well. Okay, and then uh, I also read that your ears can itch. Is oh, yeah. this a unique uh, symptom for I have for a lot fever? of patients that tell me that. I mean, the ears itch, eyes itch. I mean, it really depends wherever that, con wherever that pollen comes in contact with your skin. I mean, you can get itchy in those areas. Uh -huh. certainly. So what about treatment? Yeah, so treatment is hard. So what I've been telling patients lately is the first week of December, you should really start your medications if you're, if you're typically suffering from allergy. Uh, one of the things that I usually recommend is starting a, a like a like a nasal steroid. These are things like Flonase, uh, Nasonex. There's a, many other branded names out there that, that that you can try. But now is the time to start it because it takes about a few days, a week or so, for it to really start kicking in. Mm -hmm. and then once the season really starts kicking in, I like using some of the over-the-counter antihistamines in combination with those nasal steroids. Name some of those. Sure. <laughs> so there's a lot. I mean, there's there's the classic uh, Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra. And, and those are the long-acting, less sedating antihistamines. And, and most, most pharmacies have generic uh, of, of, those, of those products as well, which are pretty affordable now. Okay, so keep a stocked medicine cabinet. And right. then also, is there a way to get ahead of it? How do you prevent getting cedar, cedar fever yeah. from the get-go? Right, so again, starting the medication early is, okay. is going to be helpful. Uh, and it's interesting, not everybody with, uh, with, with, that lives here in Central Texas has cedar allergy. I mean, there's, there's something, that you, you have to have a genetic predisposition to have actually symptoms of this. But, mm -hmm. uh, but if you start now, most people do pretty well. And then you do a lot of avoidance things. So, you know, changing out the sheets once a week, changing your filter, showering at night. There's a lot of simple things that you can do as well. Got it. Shower, always a good idea. All right, That's right. Very important. Dr. V, thank you so much Thanks for being here for this morning.